Uh, in the last 20 years, uh, the brace frame system in steel has uh, become one of the most uh, pervasive types of structural systems used by structural engineers in the United States and throughout the world. This project is trying to see how they behave and if there's any need for improvement, and if so, how do we improve them. So during the design process of the, of the spacements, we you know, periodically communicate with the engineers and ask them if they have any suggestion about the test. Because this kind of brace frame is very popular in Northern California, especially in the uh, seismic active zone. We have tested uh, a number of different kinds of braces, starting with a rectangular uh, hollow section, wide flange braces, and circular hollow sections. I think one of the benefits of these tests is that we're able to see how the remainder of the frame, the beams and the columns, are able to then carry some of the loads and provide life safety following the failure of the braces. We have done two tests which have also looked at some new and innovative details to try to improve the performance and economy of steel brace frames. But we've also incorporated in the hybrid test method that allows us to have a better and more direct correlation with how these types of systems perform in real earthquakes. Out of this type of testing, we're coming up with a new system. We're calling it a hybrid brace frame system. There's a number of other names for it. Uh, we're looking at it as basically putting a splint or strong back on the system. Basically what happens is that a building uh, that's made of a brace frame tends to concentrate damage in one particular location so that if a brace buckles and uh, then starts to deteriorate, then all subsequent damage during the earthquake tends to concentrate in those locations. Because of that, the deformations in the structure tend to concentrate in that one location and uh, that level tends to be a, a problem region for the structure. In the masted or strong back configuration, we're basically trying to design part of the structure uh, over the entire height of the system to remain elastic and that will then prevent these weak stories from forming and we get much better behavior in those kind of systems.